Hey guys, it's AI Addict. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a veteran, it's good to see you. Today, I'm testing FSD Beta in downtown San Jose for another stress test review. Some of you may know, I worked for Tesla helping develop FSD and I test operated their software. Big update there. I was fired from Tesla in February with my YouTube being cited as the reason why. Even though my uploads are from my personal vehicle, off company time, or property with software I paid for. The morning of being fired, I had zero improper use strikes in my vehicle. Shortly after being fired, my system was suspended. This channel is meant to educate the public by showing honest reviews from experts with industry knowledge. I care about finding important safety bugs and I still want to help. Luckily, this is Silicon Valley where there is plenty of beta to go around. So today I'm in a new Tesla. If you want to learn more about my story, I'll link any articles about the topic in the description. Important timestamps are also down there in the description. With that, let's begin. All right, now we've added a new destination that's gonna go through some construction. Um, so I'm curious to see how the car will react because the whole right side of the road is closed down. We have to go on the wrong side of the road through a bunch of pillars to uh, make sure that we can safely go through the intersection. So the car is now going towards this construction I was talking about. Going a little fast, I'm gonna bring it down to 25 manually. We have to go to the left of these people and the left of this wall. I'm curious to see how the Tesla acts here. It's going, the guy's pointing us that way. Sorry, I'm not driving. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it gonna do it? Here we go. And it has it, but it's going eight, nine, ten miles an hour. Definitely not as good as a human could do it. Now it's coming to a complete stop here. Wheel jerked a little to the right. That scares me with the wall right there. I'm just gonna let it do its thing just to see what it wants to do. I'm not gonna rush it so that way it doesn't make any mistakes. We do have no vehicles around us, so that does allow us to take our time. It's trying. Give it the benefit of the doubt here. It's not comfortable, but it's doing it. And it got us through and around the construction area. Um, I would definitely want to give it an A on that, but I mean, how do you think it did? I think that was pretty good. I mean, it was painfully slow. If there were other cars around, that would have been a problem, but uh, it was figuring it out. Agreed. So right here it says keep clear and don't go through and this and now it's trying to take a left hand turn and now it's completely stopped on the light rail tracks. We are stopped on the light rail tracks. Um, I, unfortunately, I am going to have to run this red light because I do not want to be stopped on a railroad track. And that was an unfortunate situation to be in. And we're going to turn left across some railroad tracks. Beta is engaged. Let's see how well it does. Wow, that did a really, really good job. Let's see how well it does getting us through these little narrow side streets before we head on down to downtown. So far. Oh, hard brakes here. I'm gonna report that. I'm assuming it's because of these guys working on the car. Oh, okay, it's really jerky. Autopilot paused, waiting for our turn. So I think it's now gotten to the intersection, is now handling the intersection. That was a little weird back there. After this car, it is clear for us to go. And there it does the us turn. We're gonna make a right-hand turn here now really quickly. Sometimes in previous videos, it has a challenge here and it puts us in the bike lane. But the last time I ran it, it did it successfully. Let's see how well it does on 10, 10, 2. We have the clear to go, the light's green. Light is green, but we're at a complete stop. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything, just gonna wait to see what it does. And then there, now it's telling me to pay attention to the road, but I'm looking in the direction of where traffic is coming to make sure the car doesn't make a mistake. So I don't know why Tesla program it needs to figure out how to program for when people are doing that. Now it's missing the turn lane and it's coming through the bike lane now. This is not very good. I would have preferred it came in earlier instead of crossing the bike lane. So it's doing a good job. I, I mean, I have to say it's doing good when it's doing good. It tried to avoid those pigeons in the road and slowed down for the human crossing the road. So I will give Tesla an A on that. We got some construction here and a left-hand turn. Oh, for some reason, the wheel's going to the right 
and we're not quite in the left turn lane now we're kind of in the middle of both the lanes okay so now we have a left hand turn here Let's see how well the car does I have to say, I did a really good job on that turn. Credit is due where credit is due. I'm gonna manually boost me down 30, by the speed limit. This slowing down quite a lot right here. It's not the problem. All right, there's a Tesla coming that I would not go for, but now it's time to go and the light is green and the car does proceed. Up here in a couple blocks, we're gonna hit the railroad tracks where in previous iterations, it has tried to either go down the railroad tracks or go into the pole separating the road from the tracks. For you, those of you that might be new here, the railroad track will be on our right, but we have to go to the far left side of the road on the one way to continue with our route. So let's see how Tesla does with that in the next two blocks. All right, so here's the right hand, Oh wow, it's coming to a hard break right here. Yes, man. But now it's continuing. It doesn't really know, it's not sure what it wants to do here. It's coming to a full stop. I only hit the accelerator because there are cars behind us honking. And now the Tesla proceeds and gets out of the bus lane. That was really long. I mean, yes, it successfully did it, but Efficiently? No. All right, now we are in the classic railroad little loop that we always do where we hit multiple railroad crossings in a row. So just notice before we hit the light rail tracks, there is some construction we have to contend with. So let's see how the vehicle does this. Oh, whoa, it's hard in the brakes. Okay. It handled the construction though. Wasn't smooth about it though. All right, now I have to make a right-hand turn here. It wants to go down the railroad tracks. This is not okay. For me, it's just a little bit unreal that I've been running that test for so many months, almost half a year now, and we keep having the same result over and over again. Only one software iteration did it ever actually work. Um, as we say this, there's a Wells Fargo sign in the top left, as you're typically familiar with. It's treating this like a stop sign or red light. Um, it's just staying here. Yes, it's now stopped at traffic control. So I'll use the accelerator to go through the traffic control. That's very unfortunate that they haven't fixed that one either yet. Oh, here's a bullard. And I mean, as you saw in my other video, it just crashed into a bullard. So that does not make me feel safe knowing that those are blatant bullards and actually considered going near them and then realized it couldn't. It, it's, it did see it though, right? It, it's like, oh, I can't go there and it, it moved. So it was seeing that. So let's come to a hard stop here. I'm using the accelerator. Okay, there's another car coming. It's coming to a break. We're now in the middle of a red in light intersection. I'm going to hit the accelerator. Now I let go. I let go of the accelerator. I'm gonna have to keep going. There's cars behind us. Now it's getting us over out of the bike lane. I mean, uh, folks, you can just see for your own eyes how the system is interacting with these railroad systems down here in a San Jose setting. And maybe every day people might not see this type of situation. I understand these are edge cases or tough scenarios for people because they won't normally see them, but. This is right in Tesla's backyard. They should be able to fix this. FSD has been reactivated. It says no right turn, but I'm gonna have to go quickly. Uh, there was a light rail on our right coming at us, not slowing down. All right, FSD has been reactivated behind this bus. And right here on the left, you can now see the trolley that had me a little worried. Are we allowed to go here? What's this trolley doing? Okay, we're good to go. I confused even me for a second. And it's gonna continue trying to go down the right side. So I'm just gonna prematurely take over because you guys already saw what it will do. It just will go the whole way, but I don't wanna feel like backing up again. Again, here's the Wells Fargo sign. We're coming to a complete stop for a sign on the side of a building. I mean, how am I supposed, like, do you think 
with their data annotation team, they would be able to get rid of those fail safes and ignore them. But it doesn't appear so. And here are those bullards again, kind of went near them. It even sees them, but then eventually goes around them. Better that time. Much better that time. But right here, try to go right. It's going to go behind this car that's parked. Even though we need to turn right up here, I'll flag that. We're stopping way before the line. It's just jerking us forward and back. The light is green and we have the right away. You can see how it goes. There's no pedestrians here. It's just a quick, simple. And oh, oh wow, it just aborted the turn. It decided not even to do it this time. Now it's gonna loop us around an easier route where it can actually know. I saw it said unable to complete mm -hmm. complete maneuver. I've never seen that notification. Unable to complete. I've seen that before. Right, so it's green and it says, please assist the complete maneuver. So I'm gonna hold the accelerator and see what it does. It's, it's telling me I need to assist. Okay, so I am really going to assist because there's people there. Now, if you remember my last video with the FSD bullards, it was this right-hand turn that we're about to go through. So let's see what it does. It is kind of going towards these bullards. Okay, but there it goes. It now went away from them. It was so weird that it was going right towards them now for a second. We are clear to make the right-hand turn. It's going really slow. How are we doing on that side? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. We're going on that side. And it successfully made the turn this time. Very slowly though. Yeah. Just because it did it once though does not mean it'll do it every time. But uh, to be honest, I don't really want to try that again. Well, thank you so much for tuning in this week for our FSD Downtown San Jose stress test. If you're new here, feel free to like or subscribe. And if you're a veteran, please smack that like button. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm and helps us out as well. With that, thank you so much and we'll see you next time.